Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Miss Bala. I have to admit, I was conflicted all the way around when it came to Ms. Bala. I didn't think that the trailers looked particularly intriguing, to say the least. However, I was excited to see kind of this like awesome, badass looking Latina female lead. But then, it is a movie based around Mexico and Mexicans about the cartel and about gangs. Mm. Just overall, I was conflicted. But of course, tried to go in with an open mind, ready to see this film, hoping for the best. I have to say, it actually surprised me. I enjoyed myself overall with Ms. Bala. So let's go ahead and kick off with our positives. First of all, I think Gina Rodriguez is really good in this role. She's very charismatic and likable from the get-go. As soon as we meet her, she endears you to her as a person right off the bat. And that was so essential in the film overall. But she sells everything from the badassery that I mentioned before to the fright, the scaredness, the just worry inexperience. She sells it all and she sells it all very well. She was always a believable person to me. And I actually thought her acting across the board was really good, which is a shocker for a film with this much unknown talent to just kind of pop up and deliver what they need to deliver. Now, none of these performances are like Oscar worthy awards contenders, but they're all believable. They all sell what they need to sell. And this is a short film. It moves and it moves quickly. I was never bored. My mind never wandered because it never overstayed its welcome. We're in the thick of this plot, this abduction, and we care about our characters. We care about the plight that's happening and it keeps you intrigued. It keeps you hooked. So for a drug cartel, like kidnapping thriller, I th think it was really solid. Certainly better than a lot of these like actiony female thrillers we've received recently dating back to like Proud Mary or Peppermint last year, this felt on a different level. Plus, I thought it did keep you on your toes, especially with everybody surrounding Miss Paula. Part of that was the acting, a part of that was the script, but we got enough humor in here to keep you engaged. We had enough like on your edge thrills to keep you invested and worried. So it, it worked. It worked as a pretty generic, solid, fun thriller. That does lead us right into our negatives. It is a pretty generic, solid thriller. It's very paint by the numbers. And while we have twists and turns, while the script does a good job of keeping you like on your toes and on the edge of your seat, kind of thinking about which way it's all going to unfold, ultimately unfolds in a pretty standard format. I also think we don't develop certain subplots all that well. The DEA in particular, I think is very underused and underdeveloped, which is kind of shocking because that seemed to be a heavy selling point of the trailers. I also think this is much more about the abduction than like this awesome badass woman coming through here and owning things. It takes us a while for her to kind of start coming into her own. And while I think that overall helps with the believability of it all, I also wa wanted that. I wanted more of it in general. And then we do fast forward over some development in a lot of areas, including her development with the more badass things. So there's a lot of leaps in believability throughout, whether it be surviving scenarios, last minute type of scenarios, being able to trick or fool your way out of different scenarios. There's a lot where you're like, okay, this is, tons of conveniences are happening to make this story work. And then we get to like the look and the editing. It was serviceable at best and then distracting when it was at its worst. So it definitely would fall under a negative category. But although it was pretty cookie cutter, it was pretty standard, and you have to suspend belief a bit to get through the film, it was much better made, it was much more exciting, much more engaging than I had anticipated being when I walked into that movie theater. And I'd say if you are interested in Miss Bala from the trailers, this is definitely I, a full price ticket. I think you'll have a blast watching it, actually. And really, if you like these kind of like cartel thrillers, abduction thrillers, 
I also think you're going to enjoy this film, I would give it a matinee. And just the fact that we had 95% of our cast and crew being Latinx, of course I gotta recommend at least seeing it at a matinee. It's worth that. So that is my review of Ms. Bala. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Miss Bala? And what is your favorite film revolving around the cartel? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.